Awesome. Hello, everyone. So yeah, like Vase has said, today we're going to talk about new capabilities that allow you to bring your custom business process to your end users with the power of custom templates that include built-in flows. And a quick intro. My name is Nate Tennant. I'm a senior product manager on our OneDrive and SharePoint team. I focus on our business application scenarios and power platform integrations. Uh, most of the focus today will be Alin. He has about an eight-minute demo to walk you through end-to-end -end how to set this up. Uh, like Vase has said, it's a little bit complex, but we want to kind of showcase this capability, get your feedback, talk about some of the future uh, scenarios that we might consider. Before we jump in, I just wanted to quickly touch on kind of the end user scenario here. So, um, you know, any standard SharePoint site, you go to create a new list, you'd see this screen. Uh, one of the kind of benefits we've added over the last couple of years are these pre-built templates. No longer do your users have to figure out different column types, set up the coloring, theming, pills, calculated columns. We can do a lot of that for you. Uh, and three of these templates today actually include Power Automate flows already. That is the Recruitment Tracker, Work Progress Tracker, and Content Scheduler. Those default to a three-day reminder email that comes out based on one of the date columns in those specific lists. Uh, what's convenient is users can go in and update that. They don't have to be a Power Automate expert or kind of know that whole UI. But if they want to make some simple tweaks, hey, I want the email in two days instead of three, totally, totally doable. But what we're here today to talk about is similar experience when you're going and creating a new list. Uh, but instead, we're giving you the ability to upload custom templates specific to your organization. Uh, now, the value here is you have a kind of tenant-wide experience to go in and add your own business, business logic, kind of app-like experiences um, with really whatever you want in terms of list structure and now the built-in uh, flow capabilities. Same setup flow, users can kind of go in and, and tweak uh, that flow that you've provided as a starting point. Um, or when they're uploading the list, you know, they can kind of uh, do the, you know, choose to set it up later, things like that. So um, with that, I will turn it over to Aline and stop sharing here. Uh, again, we know this is a little bit complex, but bear with us. Uh, we want to get the feedback and see if anyone's kind of gone through these steps on their own or able to use this. Aline, you want to take over? Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Okay. In this demo, I will show you how to take an existing list um, and the Power Automate flow, export them into a package, register it as a list template for anyone in the company to use, and then create a brand new list from the SharePoint template. Let, let me show you what I have. I have a, a basic list with a couple of columns. Uh, I named it Cake Counter with a team name and a number of cakes. It's a fun, small demo. And also have a Power Automate flow, which runs every time a new row is included in the list. Uh, that's a, this is targeting my dev site. And when it, uh, for each new row, it posts the, the cake stats in teams in a channel. Um, so first thing I need to do to get this into a template is to um package this up package the flow separately into a dataverse solution i've got this here uh i've got my flow and a couple of connection references that it uses in a solu demo solution um so once i have those elements i can go ahead and export my solution it needs to be an unmanaged solution so i'll hit export here now for the to save some time, since this might take a minute to export, I have I have a copy already downloaded in my on my disk. Uh, I'm just gonna break it open because I need to do something on it. Um, I'm gonna extract. Hmm. Going inside the solution, here's what the files look like uh, for the flow that I need to update here. The flow I'm interested in is the JSON file in the workflows folder. Let me just open this really quickly to show you what the markup looks like. It's basically um, a flow definition, and it has my site URL and list ID hard-coded. Uh, in flow, a SharePoint site is referred to as a data set. So uh, what I need to do is here to let SharePoint know where to plug in 
uh, the new site URL and list ID of the target whenever a new list is being created. So I'm going to replace this one with a special token that SharePoint needs. And this is called a context SharePoint site URL. It has to be exactly that. And then for the list ID, I have a very similar token. Paste this in. There we go. For a flow as simple as that, I, that's all, all I need to do in this file. So I'm, I saved it and I'm going to close it up. And now I just need to package this up back into a zip file. It's on zip file. The name it solution.zip. I'm going to take it back out of the folder. So this is uh, the first piece of the puzzle. The second piece will be exporting the list into a script file, which I'm going to do in just a second. OK, now for exporting the list, I have to be logged in uh, as a tenant admin to the Microsoft, to the SharePoint management shell. And uh, I'm going to be using the uh, get SPO site script from list command. And I'm going to pipe the output into a JSON file called manifest.json in this example. Let me head over back. I've got my manifest file on disk. As you can see, we have an action to create a SharePoint list, but I have to manually add an additional action that takes care of importing the flow for me. So I'm going to do that just now. <clears throat> there we go. So the verb is import business apps. Uh, I'm using the same list name as the create list uh, action. And since I'm placing, uh, I'll be placing the solution zip file right next to the JSON file, I'm just going to specify the file name of the solution file. I'm going to save this up, close my visual code, and select these two to compress them into a zip file called a pack. I'm going to call this a package. Now I'm ready to go ahead and register this package as a template. It's a two-step process, but first let me see what uh, what list templates or list designs I have in this demo tenant right now. I've got a, four of those, and I would like to add the fifth one, which is my cake counter. Right here's my command. This is a new command that I've been introducing for this purpose. Um, it's called add SPO site script package. I gave it a title, a description, and the path to the zip file I've just created. I'm going to execute this one. Okay. Let's double check that I have an object. I've got an ID because I need it in the second step. Now I'm actually adding an entry into that um, from organization pivot. Uh, this commandlet is called add SPO list design. Uh, this is the real title and description that will be shown in the create list dialog, and I'm referencing the package ID so that it knows what we're to pull from. <clears throat> now, if I go back and look at my SPO list designs again, I've got my Contoso cake counter. So I'm ready to switch over back into SharePoint. And in a different site, I've got this project cake site. I'm going to go ahead and create a new list from your organization. And uh, using this basic template, this Contoso cake counter that I have now, use template. I'll let the, that SharePoint create my new list. <clears throat> and as a final step to set up, um, we're presented with this dialog which now uh, sends the information over to Power Platform. We got back that we have one flow to import to automatically post cake stats on Teams. I have to click Next. Now this is the step where the connection references are being initialized with actual connections. And I have got one for SharePoint, one for Microsoft Teams. I'll hit Next. Uh, the confirmation screen tells us that it's a background process. It works with Power Platform to asynchronously uh, set up the flow. I can close uh, the dialog and wait for the progress not notification to tell me when it's done. 
So this may this is the part of the demo that may take uh, a minute or so, uh, depending on how Power Platform processes my request. And once it's done, we will take a look at uh, a live uh, example posting in Teams. Aline, while that's going, we did have one question about the inflows live in a non-default environment with this solution. Uh, we are only working with default environments right yeah. now. So um, this is where we target when we import stuff. Now, if, uh, if a flow is authored in the non-default environment, I think that's fine as long as because the result has to be a a, a pack a, a solution zip file, so uh, it should work. But we are only targeting the default environment with this feature. Thanks. So here uh, here is my confirmation. I also get an email that the flow is uh, set up. So now I can give this uh, guy a spin. I'll say, I'll give it a SharePoint team name, uh, 12 cakes, let that save into a new item. And I should, if I go here in my demo channel of Project Cake, within a minute or so, uh, the flow should kick in and post something for us automatically. So no setup needed to um, author the flow when And stuff like that. This is the risky part of the demo. Uh, lots of moving parts going from SharePoint to through Power Platform and into Teams. Fingers crossed. Alternatively, we can take a look and uh, make sure that we have the um, flow installed and running. Keep an eye on this tab. Yeah, one minute ago, and uh, you see this, they automatically post cake stats on Teams, the flow. Looks like it hasn't run yet, so I'm going to refresh my flow runs here. Uh, so that it's not too boring, I can also show you that we, that SharePoint was able to fill in uh, the new site and list. We've got Project Cake, Contoso Cake Counter. So based on this information, it should just work. Let me go back and, yep, OK, we have a run. Thank goodness. All right, let's check Teams. And we have a congrats to Team SharePoint for cutting 12 cakes. All right, there we have it. Thank you, everyone. We can capture feedback questions again, put those in chat, or we might have a minute here. Um, you know, some of the things we're considering here are making the manage capabilities a little bit easier with a deep link directly into Power Automate to view that cloud flow. Um, doing some similar functionality around the Power Apps Canvas, Power Apps Custom Forms, um, looking at how we incorporate this into site templates, and then making things easier around the list template ex export uh, from the Power Automate side. And so I will leave you with a few resources. Uh, I can put these in chat as well, but um, if any questions or feedback, otherwise follow up uh, in chat.